Housing report you decide we'll discuss, but there appears to be some new tension brewing between House Speaker Paul Ryan and Donald Trump. This time, it's stemming from some remarks made by Ryan at a gathering of top Republican donors in Colorado. Ryan told the audience, quote, we have to do a better job of taking the, mor the moral high ground, showing conservative ideas and practice, and it will help us retake the soul of our own party which we have our own challenges with these days, end quote. Ryan never mentioned Trump by name, but did refer to him as a unique and different kind of nominee. Trump then fired back by sending a thank you tweet to the Republican challenger, trying to unseat Ryan in next Tuesday's primary. And he said this, thanks for your kind words, very much appreciated. <laughs> oh boy. Fun. David, I love I love that phrase. What do you say? Unique and and different. That's what when you go to an art gallery and of uh, you see a work of a friend of yours and you hate it, you say, well, it's unique and different, isn't it? That's I mean, different. You just get the sense these guys don't like each other. And, Does it matter? Uh, I don't think so. In fact, if. Donald Trump becomes president of the United States. I would kind of like it if he didn't get along with the Speaker of the House. I like the tension between the executive and the legislature. When Republican presidents have Republican Congresses, generally they just spend more money. Look what oh, happened to the Bush gosh, administration. Gosh, absolutely right. I mean, they, they can't control themselves. They, yeah. they feel that's their job to get in there. They're just all a bunch of busybodies. <laughs> but I, I do love the political passive aggression. I mean, it's, it's wildly entertaining. And at some point you have to wonder whether or not Paul Ryan is going to unendorse him. And, you know, I don't know if his yeah. primary challenger is, is giving him the fight of his life, but there are Trump's been several, talking him up. several contests uh, that are so close, and the, the Trump factor could be the deciding one here. And it'll be interesting to see how Ryan plays this, because obviously, if Donald Trump loses, Paul Ryan wants to run for president in 2020. Yeah, so, so he's walking quite a, uh, a tightrope. My mother used to tell me, Sandra, that if you can't say something sincerely, you should just be quiet. So She's a wise that, woman. I think that hasn't is. been that happening. That surely is half a wise. <laughs> He's a wise woman. <laughs> but you know, to Kennedy's point, I don't even think he has to unendorse. I mean, he can just be as disingenuous well, let, as let possible. Me, let me put he it this him way. A racist and didn't unendorse. So. Based on what we just heard out of the president's mouth, who I will reiterate is campaigning for Hillary Clinton the entire month of October. He just said, challenging GOP leaders, if you repeatedly have to say what hashtag Trump says it is unacceptable, this is Fox News repeating this, why are you endorsing him? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then he followed that up with, what does this say about your party that this is your standard bearer? So we know that Hillary Clinton, Donald Trump are gonna use, con continually use Paul Ryan and other GOP leaders that are reluctant to so something just openly me. support him as you were saying that why is it because it's a rigged system and everybody knows that you've got to endorse the candidate even if you don't agree with them i mean is that part because that actually benefits donald trump look i got this guy to endorse me he doesn't really want to but he knows he has you kind of lose either way you pull a ted cruz and people are mad at you for that or you do endorse and you know you still clearly That's might have now, problems with cruz. it <laughs> pulling a ted people are mad or you pull a paul ryan and you do endorse but you still have your issues and people are mad about that so basically the lesson here is no matter what you do you're always wrong wow thanks Kat. <laughs> wow no, it's, it's so complicated feet. it's like nothing we've never seen before so nobody knows what to do they're just kind of doing their best mm. trump does say some things that you know kind of difficult to stand behind but that party unity so, is more important than that to some people i've been saying this from the beginning back in the primaries when donald trump started winning and when there were still 15 16 people in the race why didn't the party get with him then or, or at least say, look, if you turn right. out to be the winner, we're going to work with you on your because messaging. They didn't we're going to think work he was going you. to win. Mm -hmm. They, they. I, I talked to a very big person in the Republican Party uh, just a couple of months before he got the nomination. He said Donald Trump will never, never, ever, ever be the, be the Republican Party nominee. Mm. They really didn't believe it was he funny. would win. Wow. It was funny. It was all fun and games. And oh wait. Never mind. It's all so of a sad sudden. to see a crystal ball break. <laughs> <laughs> Not always. I like it when that happens. All right. Hillary Clinton is working on winning over one group of voters she's struggling with. White working class men. How she's planning to do it. Will it work?